Hello there. In this video, I'm going to be using the E-Track. I'm going to be doing air tests, which aren't perfect, but they should give you a good idea of where UK coinage hits on the E-Track screen. Now, obviously, I'm not using every UK coin that was ever produced, but I'm using a good cross-section of things that we do find on a day-to-day -day basis, and also quite a few things that we would very much like to find. Now, on the E-Track, we're basically talking about the ferrous line, which goes horizontally, 1 to 40. And we're talking conductive. That's the vertical lines, imaginary lines that is, which go left to right, numbered 1 to 50. So if you get something that is reading, oh, I don't know, say 1220, which would be where a, like a groat size hammered coin or gold ring or possibly some of those awful ring pulls would hit, I would hit pretty much in the middle. So it'd be 12 lines down, 20 lines across. Now for the purpose of this test, I'm using four tone ferrous. So everything above the 17 line will give either a medium high or a high tone. Basically all the targets are gonna give a high-ish tone of some sort. I personally don't like conductive because it means you've constantly gotta be looking at the screen. It is good in certain situations when you're winkling things out of very contaminated areas, but for the type of hunting I do in pasture, four-tone ferrous reigns supreme, so that's what I'm using. Even if you yourself prefer conductive, at least you'll be able to see the numbers. So for example, a small cut half hammered coin with four-tone ferrous would give a pretty high tone with multi-tones conductive audio would give a low grunt. So yes, the audio will be different if you use the machine in conductive, but the numbers should hit the same. What I'm going to do is list all the coins that I'm testing, along with the numbers in the video description on YouTube. If I can, I'll put the times which they occur as well. So say I'll split all of the, I don't know, farthings and half pennies up, I'll put that at it might be 3 minutes 20 or something, so if you click that in the video description it'll take you straight to the farthings and half pennies. Likewise the hammered coins might be at, I don't know, 8 minutes 20 or something. So find them in the video description, click 8 minutes 20 or whatever it happens to be, the video will skip straight to that point. Just one thing before I start the video, please bear in mind that these are air tests. I'm basically waving the coin over the coil at various speeds to see what readings we get on the screen and what audio responses we get. In the ground, it is generally a little bit different and at depth, you can get quite bouncy signals on the E-Track. But with the E-Track, we're looking for consistent conductive readings. That's the vertical one. So you might get a bouncy up and down signal and if it spends two-thirds of its time in the top half, it's worth a dig. It'll still give you readings of something at great depth, but it might be bouncy. These air tests will be very accurate because there's nothing in the way of the coin and the coil. Just bear that in mind. Hopefully you'll find this video useful and thanks for watching.
Well, that's about your lot. I hope you found that video useful. Now, even if you couldn't be bothered to watch the whole video, and I don't blame you, it was quite a long one, at least now you've got all those coins written down in the video description along with their readings. And that should be a good resource for you. Also in the video description, I'll put a full explanation of how I have the machine set up for pasture hunting. So I really just want to give you all this information to enable you to get the most out of your machine. Thanks very much for watching. I'll probably do one on various artifacts as well. And I shall see you next time. That's not a hammered coin. That's a hammered coin. Get in there.